Elliot Henderson? I don't think she's here. She's probably on her way over. Why don't we start with an introduction in front of the house? Here? Yeah, it's perfect. Hi, my name is Casey Stratton and welcome to hauntedorhoax.com. I'm here with website co-creator and photographer Jack Murphy for the website's first investigative piece on this amazing house behind me. Now, to allow you guys to fully experience the journey with us, we decide to keep a vlog of our time here. That way, you guys can be with us as we unravel the mysteries of this intriguing location. Now, this house is very important to me. It's the reason we started the website in the first place. So it's only fitting we start our journey here. I first learned about the house 18 months ago from my father. Not long before he died, he shared his research with me about the house. I think he decided to look into it because as it turns out, I am the great, 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 great niece of John and Emily Grantham. Two ordinary people with an age-long past, but their story is fascinating. It all started in 1890, when the pair first fell head over heels in love with each other. John was a town doctor, and Emily was quite the well-known poet at the time. Not long after they met, they got married, and John built this house as a surprise. Now, he spent months meticulously planning every detail. When he finally presented to Emily, she was overjoyed. <laughs> now, they lived here happily until 1898, when, unfortunately, their lives came to an abrupt and tragic end. They were murdered, shot to death in their living room, along with their housekeeper and cook. A chilling crime that shocked the community and remains unsolved. The townspeople have their suspicions, but the Grantham killer was never found. The story doesn't end there, though. Ever since that day, the house has been plagued by death. Numerous murders, suicides, and accidents have happened here for the last 115 years. Local residents refused to set foot here, thinking that the original murders shrouded the house in some kind of evil. Other people think there's more to it. People are scared at the mere mention of the Grantham house. So what is the truth? Is it haunted? Or is it just all bad luck? We decided it was time to find out the truth. So, I contacted the owner of the house, and after a great deal of begging on my part, she finally gave us access to the house. She did take some convincing. She wasn't too thrilled about the idea of us staying here. But, for all of you out there, welcome to Grantham House. <laughs> Hopefully you guys stick with us as we give you an inside look and find out if the house really is haunted. Yeah. This house makes Amityville look like Disneyland. <laughs> what? <laughs> Too much? Well, Casey, you do have a flair for the dramatic. Casey? Hi, yeah, that's me. Elia. Hey. Hey. Oh, sorry, uh, Elia Jack Murphy, website co-creator and photographer. Hey, nice to meet you. You too. Um, I can wait while you guys finish. Oh, no, I, th I think we got everything we need. Yeah. Should we head inside? May as well get this over with. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 